Hi, and welcome to another episode of Writing Fighting. All I'm going to do today is show you a bunch of cuts and what they look like and what they're for. So, Middle Ages, single sword, basically six cuts straight through to 18th, 19th century saber. So I can cut, and I can cut backhand, and I can roll my hand over and cut up, roll my hand over and cut backhand, cut flat, roll my hand over and cut backhand. Those are the cuts. We call it the star. Boom, 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 boom. You get the picture. What are they for? It all depends on your opponent and parries. Some of them actually depend on cavalry combat. Parries like this and cuts from here have a lot more to do with passing another rider than they really do with fighting on foot in, say, a duel. But it's worth knowing all the cuts. I can open your shield side from here, if you remember the shield and buckler videos, and uh, by putting my thumb on the blade, I can make those cuts differently from different positions, and I can also make cuts over my head and apprise one of the Renaissance straight up the middle. All those cuts are useful, and they were all trained. And throughout the Middle Ages, people would put a pole in the ground called a pell and hit it over and over again with their sword until they could deliver those cuts perfectly. Because one of the things you may not think about is that you don't want to hit with the flat. You don't want to hit three quarters on. You want the whole weight of your blow delivered from the whole weight of your arm precisely into the center of the blade, into your target, and that takes practice. Because the truth is, practice is the killer. See you tomorrow.